So the hopes and dreams of the industry in its infancy were to create a whole new paradigm in healthcare. There was the opportunity to bring fantastic new treatments to patients and change the lives of people, but also the opportunity to build a whole new industry based around fantastic science and technology. Advanced therapies is a good phrase. Advanced therapies captures the goal of treating diseases which are difficult using products which are sophisticated. Advanced therapies as I see it is basically a therapy of the new generation. Therapy that is based on a biological mechanism that fights a complex disease. So advanced therapies are a special class. They're not small molecules, they're not biologics. They require special handling all the way from the manufacturing site to the patient's bedside. When it first started, it would come to commercialization fairly quickly. Uh, a lot of people looked at just moving this into the standard of care, uh, like bone marrow transplant did. And, and some of those things didn't happen. It didn't move as quickly as people wanted to. There were a lot more logistical and, and research-based roadblocks than what was anticipated. Over the last 20 years, we've seen uh, a major advancement from few investigators working on, on very rare diseases to now uh, a lot of activities, both in industry and in academia, that helps us to advance the field. I believe the industry has really put effort into bringing different technologies to bear to ensure that the therapies are tracked properly, taken care of in the cold chain, monitored, and eventually delivered properly with high standardization to the patient. I think we're finally getting there with having some curative therapies, even though it took maybe a couple of decades longer than people wanted it to. Uh, but we're getting there, and I think especially in monogenic diseases and, and things that are, have been a little bit easier for us to define, uh, we're starting to see cell and gene therapy really take hold. There is not only sort of support and acceptance from society as a whole that this is something safe, but important for our industry also, there is investment to continue to exploit this technology and also um, government agencies. The tailwind which is driving this is clinical data and today we're privileged to be at an inflection point where these first pieces of efficacy data are coming in. This will unfold the roadmap forward uh, to 2025 and beyond. By that time, we've actually put in place the infrastructure to allow these therapies to be broadly distributed around the world, help all the patients that can be helped in a very efficient manner. If you come back 10 years from now, you might see a machine in the hospital that will take blood from one side and give you CAR T cells on the other side. That's the only way this could really succeed in 10, 15, 20 years from now.